information is widely recognized as a key ingredient towards attainment of sustainable development. The availability of relevant and appropriate information and its application, especially in rural communities, continues to be a key challenge. The high levels of poverty and lack of exposure means that whole communities may not fully exploit their available resources, thus not being able to fully attain their potential. In the 21st century, the ability of nations to feed themselves is dependent on emerging technologies and information that are key for sustainable agriculture. For countries like Kenya, whose economy is dependent on agriculture, the agricultural sector is key if the country is to achieve its Millennium Development Goals of fighting hunger and poverty. The Ministry of Agriculture through the Kenya Agricultural Research Institute, CARI, has been promoting sound agricultural research, technology generation and disseminating the knowledge to farmers to ensure that food security is attained. The biggest challenge, however, has been in developing easy dissemination mechanisms through which farmers can be informed and educated on agricultural technologies for them to maximize their yields. Research training and dissemination of agricultural knowledge are vital for productivity improvement. This informed CARI's component of support training and dissemination of technologies generated and feedback loops to ensure that the technologies generated are relevant to farmers' needs. Technology generation is primarily its undertaking, but it has over the years partnered with other research institutions, non-governmental organizations, and international agricultural organizations. These organizations include Forum for Agricultural Research in Africa, FARA, which is an umbrella organization that brings together and forms coalitions of major stakeholders in agricultural research and development in Africa and complements the innovative activities of national, international and sub-regional research institutions to deliver more responsive and effective services to its stakeholders. The dissemination of new agricultural technologies in Africa, Donata program, that covers the AU NEPAD flagship commodity-based technologies like the Nerika rice, improved cassava varieties, IR maize, sweet potato, tissue culture banana, and integrated natural resource management practices, and Association for Strengthening Agricultural Research in East and Central Africa, Sareka, which is a regional leader in agricultural research and development for improved livelihoods in Eastern and Central Africa, have been working closely with CARI. These organizations, together with CARI, have worked to mobilize farming communities and farmer advisory service providers to formulate questions so that agricultural experts, who include agricultural scientists, can give practical answers to farmers' immediate information requirements through an elaborate program that embraces information and communication technology through a platform known as eRails. Such mobilization has triggered the development of relevant contents to be accessed through the eRails platform. In the course of consulting services, that is question and answer services, key data are collected providing an opportunity for scientists and policymakers for better understanding of the community situation that include opportunities and challenges. Such data are the prerequisite for effective impact assessment, early warning, monitoring and planning of interventions. The statistical data and scientific expertise are combined to provide more targeted decision support service for local and national decision makers and investors. The second phase of the information system is focused on content management of eRails platform, specifically on how the system can be used to allow information flow from the scientists or agricultural experts to respond directly to farmers' needs. At the same time, being able to collect information from farming communities. Basically, uh, if you talk about the genesis of eRails, this was discovered uh, that knowledge, agricultural research knowledge in Africa were not in a place where they can be reached. Mostly they are in circles of papers mm -hmm. or in the head of scientists. Mm -hmm. uh, and the concept of EREL was started as a, a concept that can bridge the gap between research knowledge mm -hmm. and, uh, and, uh, and, and, and on-farm uh, uh, application of the technology that are developed. Yes. So the first component, which is the EREL's, the .NET, mm -hmm. basically this where Farmers are able to load, upload successful success stories. Okay. They're able to say how 
the information they have gathered is able has helped them mm -hmm. in terms of increasing productivity, mm -hmm. in terms of learning, mm -hmm. and that once that knowledge is uploaded, it becomes on, on the African portal, uh, mm -hmm. the, basically, you know, the areas of the African portal. Mm -hmm. there are, uh, other, you, other farmers may are able to uh, get that information, mm -hmm. share the information, and uh, are able to apply the same technology, mm -hmm. the same in, in, in the information they have already gathered. Mm -hmm. So, uh, from my experience, after going, going around the field, talking to farmers, talking to the learning teams, uh, there are many cases where we find areas have been very useful. Uh, I'll mention an example where we find a place like in Bali, where uh, one of the learning team members loaded uh, and uploaded information on organic farming and indigenous uh, vegetables. Farm organizations that have benefited through the EREALS platform are Cataloni Missions community-based organizations in Mumbuni, Machakos County, where the EREALS 2 initiative has greatly helped the farmers in maximizing their horticultural and crop yields through the effective management of diseases. The resource center is based in Kari, Katumani. The program has enabled the program coordinators to share agricultural knowledge and attain feedback through interactions with scientists via the ICT-based EREALS platform where farmers can ask questions in relation to crop diseases and the coordinators forward the same to the agricultural experts who will do the diagnosis and give the appropriate advice or solutions. We receive samples from uh, our key stakeholders in the country and many of us, uh, the major stakeholder here is actually the common farmer and sometimes we get samples from our research scientists and university students, university lecturers. So what we get here are sick plants. I know that uh, people think plants don't get sick, but they do get sick. So when we receive the plant, the first thing we do is we uh, make a quick diagnosis out of experience and in terms of uh, referring to the available literature. Some plant diseases are very easily diagnosable while others are not easy. So what we do is the quick ones, we are able to tell the farmer what to do it on the spot. And the difficult ones, we take them further for analysis in this lab, where we do what we call isolation. That is just like taking a piece of a sick plant, putting it on artificial media to assist the pathogen to grow so that we can be able to identify it using the microscope. And that's a process that takes almost five days and we're able to tell the farmer uh, what the problem is. Sometimes we get emerging diseases which we have not come across before. When we get difficult uh, situations like those, we are able to uh, ask for help from international experts and uh, uh, locally and sometimes abroad. And a good example was the maize necrotic, uh, maize lethal necrotic disease that were able to be assisted to do diagnosis by the US and the UK. So what we do after we have done diagnosis and we have identified what problem it is, and, and pathogens are many in terms of infection. In this department, we have the nematode uh, analysis, we have bacteria analysis, we have fungi analysis, we have viruses analysis. So once we have identified what causal agent it is, we now go down and recommend to the farmers. Normally we like to encourage farmers to use cultural practices, uproot and destroy by burning, and any soft products that are in the market. And then that's the, uh, we find that the, really the problem is very major, then we advise that the farmer uses the chemical. And we try to start with the protective fungicides, and then we go on to the systemic fungicides. We really want to encourage our farmers not to use very uh, heavy chemicals, because uh, this, this, most of these plants are food-based. I mean, they are food products, and we are consuming them as Kenyans, and some of which is export product. So we try to encourage farmers to use cultural methods, which are very easy to control, and they minimize the problem. This is the Office of Catalonia Mission Community-Based Organization, which works closely in collaboration with Kari Katumani and uh, aid funded by Ovision. Our main work is to disseminate information to the farmers on sustainable agriculture, 
and particularly on uh, dry land, uh, dry land uh, farming technologies and organic farming. Uh, what we do, we are working as a team. We have community information workers who represent various locations in Machakos district. So we, we are working with the four information workers and each of the well, four represents the three locations, uh, which now make the whole district, as we've been told, with 280 farmer groups. Okay. Um, we found a very big challenge to the farmers, in that they were not able to get information from the research. And we, we came in, in to bridge that gap between the research findings and the hand use of the farmer. So we, we, we've shortened the flow of information from research to the hand use of the farmer. Mimi ni mkulima wa mind. Siku yile ni mepanda mind. Nikimea, nikipalilia, inakua. Na ikiwa inaza, inasa mind ilikuwa na ile ukonjwa wa mind ilikuwa ni nyeusi. Siku yile niliita hii ofisa wa hapa akakuja kwangu tukaangalia ile mind tukiangalia ile mind ananipatia mahoni juu ya hiyo mind hiyo mind ninaendelea naye akaniambia ni ngoe hiyo mind na nichome na nisimbie shimo niweke ndani nikifanya hivyo Sasa mimi naona wananipatia maoni mzuri hata nilipatia wengine wakulima wenzangu. Sasa masangu ilikuwa imetani yellowish na wakanielezea vile nitafanya. Wakaniambia niwe natumia manyua ile ya kawaida na niwe nafanya top dressing ya fertilizer yenye wanaita 23-23. Nilifofanya hifo, sukuma haikuwa na langi ya yellowish tena. Sukuma zilianza kuwa mzuri, na pia matawi yake ikawa, ikawa kubwa sana. Kwa hivyo, naona, hiyo imenisaidia sana kwa upande huo. Na tena, walituandifaisi vile tunaweza fanya ile terraces kwa ile slope areas na hiyo pia nimefanya na shamba yangu sasa naona inaendelea mzuri so ile lotion ika reduce another center that has also embraced this system is the abadeath produce and marketing organization in limuru we have been with the eos for the last one and a half years we are covering all the problems of farmers, that is horticulture, uh, daily farming, or, or all the domestic animals. Mm -hmm. Okay, what happens in this project is that uh, we usually get, get the problems from the farmers. Once we get the, the, the problem from the farmers, we go and take the photos. From there, we assess the whole problem and the, the, the whole situation. We, we take photos, we, we, we load them in, the, in, the, in the, the program, we send them to carry, they do the research, the experts are there, they give us back the answers, we take the, 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 the solutions to the farmers. We advise the farmers on the, pro, on, on the project, that is the advice from the, from the experts. We file the, the, the solutions with the, uh, the, our cybers, the Minister of Agriculture and the organization itself. We have our headquarters in the in Gararriga, where the HCDA is. That's where we usually meet with the farmers. We have meetings every once a month, the first Friday of each month. We advise the farmers. They bring the new problems or they send us to, to their destinations or their areas. We go there and we, 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 we take the problems again. What happens is that if, if the farmer has been advised 
we usually go back and, and see whether the farmer is, is doing the whatever has been advised on. And they usually come to us to, to consult. In Nyanza, Western Kenya, the Ugunja Community Resource Center, which is a community-based non-governmental organization located in Sierra County, Ugunja Division, Sierra District, coordinates many innovative activities in collaboration with local communities, community-based organizations, as well as national and international NGOs. The resource center encourages communities to take charge of their destiny. This is being done through provision of appropriate information and technologies to alleviate poverty, increase food security, provide income generating opportunities, and ensure continued sustainable development. Ugunja Community Resource Center came to know about ELS in 2011. Uh, this was after uh, attending a meeting, a conference that was organized by CARI. Uh, this was uh, a donata experience sharing workshop which was held at uh, CARI headquarters. So. Ugunja Community Resource Center was invited to go and make a presentation and during that meeting I did a presentation on how we were using mobile uh, mobile phones through frontline SMS to disseminate uh, or to train people on HIV AIDS uh, care and uh, management. So after that then uh, we got the opportunity to know about the e -rails which you are invited to participate in ERL's activities by CARI. So from 2011, uh, then in 12, 2012, I was trained as a, an ERL's uh, facilitator, facilitating uh, preparation of the websites. And from that training, I came back and we established a platform in Ugunja. And this platform involved mainly local organizations. We collect information using several methods. One, UCRC has got uh, field staffs, uh, mainly agriculture staff that work with us. So when they go out to farmers, apart from taking information to them on appropriate technologies and technologies that we are disseminating, they also take that time to understand innovations that are coming from farmers and we pick this information and bring back for our own use and also we refer to other partners that we work with to help us uh, either validate or to verify whether these practices are uh, right. <laughs>